Hi guys, Karbujaya here. So last week I started working on a new robot that uses flexible PCB coils as its legs. It didn't work as good as I hoped it would. But then I discovered that the 3D printed shell was too heavy, the coils were so misaligned, and the repulsion distance was at its limits. So this week I 3D printed a new lightweight prototype that will hopefully prove that this concept can work. Now that works much better, it's more of a crawling motion than walking, but it still moves. Quadruped robots usually have 12 degrees of freedom. This robot only have 4. Each leg can go down and back up. Ok, so you may be thinking if its movements are so limited, why am I so interested in making this robot? The answer is very simple, Swarm Robotics. The cheapest swarm robot I could find is around $14. If I make a robot from just a battery, PCB and magnets, that price would reduce a lot. Now let's talk about Mark III. First of all I need to remove its leash. <laughs> I have to design a new PCB with all the electronics on board. This also means that I need to put a battery on it. Now adding all these new components is going to make the robot heavier. And if it exceeds this weight, it will not be able to move. So I need to design a new robot, this weighs just 3 grams. Challenge accepted. I have two options, either design one flexible PCB and solder all the electronics on it, or make a super thin FR4 PCB that also houses the magnets. The first option would also require a plastic shell, so I'm going to go for the second option, which means that I'm literally going to make a PCB walk. The flexible PCB coils would still have to be soldered onto the main PCB. But perhaps for Mark IV I can combine them into a flexi-rigid PCB. 